Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my video today. You know, the Lord is just doing awesome things here uh, in His church worldwide, and He's doing awesome things right here at Mountain Life Church. And You know, if you've been watching my videos, you know that uh, I've shared many times that last year, you know, the Lord spoke very clearly to me, and He said that He was going to change my spiritual climate. And ever since that time, you know, there's just been a really significant shift in my ministry and, and in the ministry of people that are around me. And I believe that this is a global move of God, and it's very, uh, it's a very exciting time uh, for for those who will tune in to what the Holy Spirit is doing in the church. Now, those who are opening themselves uh, up to what the Holy Spirit is doing will begin to experience a newfound freedom and power in their ministry. Uh, and this is because the Lord is preparing His church for a great harvest. Now, if you've not seen some of my recent videos, I'd encourage you to go to my new website, spiritualclimatechange.com. On this web, well, the website, I share uh, recent visions, prophetic words concerning this time of preparation that the uh, Lord has a church in right now. And today I want to share with you a, a very powerful and prophetic act that the Lord gave me many years ago. And this, uh, this prophetic act has been really instrumental in helping people to get free of things from their past uh, that have helped them back from serving the Lord. Now, if you're not familiar with what a prophetic act is, um, I want to give you an example from the Bible. It comes from um, Acts chapter 21, uh, verse 8. It says, on the next day, we were uh, we who were with Paul's companions, we departed, came to Caesarea, and entered the house of Philip, uh, the evangelist, who was one of the seven, and he stayed, and we stayed with him. Now this man had four virgin daughters, and they prophesied. And as we stayed many days, there was a certain prophet named Agabus, and he came down from Judah. And when uh, he had come to us, he took Paul's belt. Uh, bound his own hands and his feet, and he said, Thus says the Holy Spirit, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. And when we heard these things, both we and those that... Um, that uh, in the place we pleaded with Paul not to go to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered and said, What do you mean by weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not to only be bound, but to also die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. So when we uh, knew that he was not persuaded, we ceased, and we said, uh, the, the will of the Lord be done. So we see here a prophetic act in the Bible by this man, Agabus. Now listen, there's a big difference between uh, the prophetic act that we just read and the prophetic act that the Lord gave me. The prophetic act uh, that we just read actually put Paul in a place of incarceration. But the prophetic act that the Lord gave me, uh, it's led many people to a place of new power and freedom in serving Christ. Now, you'd probably think that I must have been in a deep prayer and, and meditation for the Lord to give me uh, such a powerful uh, tool such as this. But the truth is, I was on a ski slope uh, in a chairlift, and I was just enjoying a day of skiing here in Colorado. And the reason I share this with you is so that you'll know that the Lord can speak to you at any time and any place. And now we just have to, to walk with the Lord every day, have our spiritual ears and uh tuned in to whatever he wants to say. So here's what the Lord told me to do in this prophetic act. It's called a baggage disclaim check. And here's the principle behind it. When you're traveling by a bus or plane or train and you have a baggage, they're, they're going to give you a baggage claim check so that you can reclaim your baggage when you reach your destination. And the principle behind the baggage disclaim check is not referring to natural baggage, but rather spiritual baggage. And maybe some of you can already tell where this is heading. Let me read to you what the baggage disclaim check says. It says, baggage disclaim check. I hereby disclaim all spiritual baggage brought here today. According to Hebrews 12.1, I will lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily holds me back, and with patience I will run the race that is set before me. Also, according to Philippians 3.14, I will forget the past and reach forward and press toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. 
Now Hebrews 12.1 tells you and I clearly that focusing on sin carries with it weight and, and it holds you and I back from serving the Lord. And the same passage tells you and I that we have to keep our focus on Jesus. It tells us that we're running a race for the Lord and we must keep our eyes on the prize, which is Jesus. Don't let Satan keep pounding you with thoughts of past sins that God has already forgiven. Go to my website, spiritualclimatechange.com. Watch the video where I shared a vision about how Satan constantly is pounding God's people with things from the past. You know, it's dangerous to drive forward with our eyes fixed on the rearview mirror. Now listen, again, we read in Philippians 3.14, it says, I'm going to forget the past, reach forward, and press toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. The Lord gave this to me on a ski lift on a Saturday afternoon, and, and I, I stayed up really late uh, that night, early into the morning, uh, after a long day of hard skiing, you know. And I printed this out, and I took it to our church the next day. And I, I wasn't pastoring a church at that time. And I shared this with the pastor, and he was totally on board with doing this in the church that Sunday. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is all over this prophetic act, and many people were set free that day. The Lord led me to have people come forward, acting like they were carrying heavy uh, baggage. And, uh, and when they got up to the front of the church, I had two uh, attendants in place, and they'd grab these uh, invisible uh, baggage, you know, and they'd act like they're throwing it out the window. And as we threw the spiritual baggage out of the window, we would say, one, two, free. Get it? One, two, free. F-R-E-E. Now, I have literally had people come to me years later and tell me that they remember this prophetic act and how it absolutely changed their life. And now for my infomercial. You, yes you, can have your very own spiritual baggage disclaim check. Disclaim your spiritual baggage. Why would you want to carry that stuff around anyway? It's dirty. It's heavy. Let's face it. It smells bad. But not with a new and improved baggage disclaim check. What do you have to do? It's simple as can be. Just read the contents of the baggage disclaim check. Follow the simple instructions. Then grab that old smelly spiritual baggage and throw it out the window. It's that easy. Now, what do you think you'd pay for a powerful spiritual tool such as this? Something that can set you free from things that have kept you from serving the Lord for years and reaching your full potential. Would you pay thousands? Millions? Trillions? Well, maybe in other places, but today, for you only, it is absolutely free. Matthew 10.8 says, Freely you have received, freely give. Now listen, if you're in the Southern Colorado area, I would encourage you to visit us tomorrow, Sunday, March 5th, because we will be performing this prophetic act in our church service. No matter where you, uh, no matter where you are, uh, just simply uh, shoot me an email at Pastor Manny at mountainlifechurch.net. And I'll send this up to three of these baggage disclaim checks to you at absolutely no cost. Now, if the Lord would lead you to support our ministry, I would really appreciate it. You know, we've just paid off a 35-acre parcel of land, and now we're entering into uh, the building phase of this project to build our new church building. And you can go to my website, spiritualclimatechange.com. You can make a contribution there. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my video today. Go ahead and get, get uh, a few of these. I'd love to send them to you. It's changed many people's lives over the years. Just give me an email, Pastor Manny at mountainlifechurch.net. This is Pastor Manny. Be blessed and be a blessing.